From the Associated Press, a $40 million prison sits in the desert north of Baghdad empty. A $165 million children's hospital goes unused in the south. And a $100 million wastewater treatment system in Fallujah has cost three times more than projected, yet sewage still runs through the streets there. As the U.S. draws down in Iraq, it is leaving behind hundreds of abandoned or incomplete projects. More than $5 billion in American taxpayer funds has been wasted. More than 10 percent of the sum $50 billion the U.S. has spent on reconstruction there, according to audits from a U.S. watchdog agency. That amount is likely an underestimate, based on an analysis of more than 300 reports by auditors with the Special Inspector General for Iraq Reconstruction. And it does not take into account security costs, which have run almost 17 percent for some projects. Even completed projects, for the most part, fell short of original goals, according to an Associated Press review of hundreds of audits and investigations and visits to several sites. Iraqis can see one of the most egregious examples of waste in Kanbani Saad, where a $40 million prison was built, complete with more than two dozen guard towers and surrounded by high concrete walls, only to be abandoned. U.S. Inspector General Stuart Bowen told the AP, quote, It will never hold a single Iraqi prisoner, $40 million wasted in the desert. In some cases, Iraqi ministries have refused to take on the responsibility for U.S.-funded programs, forcing the Americans to leave abandoned buildings littering the landscape.